I'm Martine LaDuke. I'm Ginger Rem. And this is Life, Life Science at a Social, social Distance. distance. We are at Boyd Hill learning more about our native and exotic plants. First plant that I wanted to show you today is our strangler fig. This is a native plant to Florida, um, Ficus aria, which means a golden fig. That's our native strangler fig. And strangler fig trees are so interesting. The way that they start is a bird might eat the fruit of the fig tree and the seeds inside the fig are sticky. So if the bird cleans its bill off on a branch, the seed might stick to the branch of that other tree. And then the seed will germinate um, using rainwater and the air for nutrients. And as that seed germinates, the seed will send roots down to the ground. So you can see here on this fig tree, these are some of the roots being sent down to the ground. Once the roots touch the ground, they get nutrients from the soil and the tree has a growth spurt and starts to grow a lot more quickly. And this tree can grow to be 50 feet tall, 50 feet wide up in the canopy. So if we walk over here, you will see the sable palm tree where that bird or the animal must have deposited that seed. And the seed germinated and the root system grew down around that sable palm and then the branches of the tree also grew out above the sable palm. Now the interesting thing is that this ficus or this strangler fig is not a parasite. It's not taking nutrients from that palm tree at all. It's simply using it for support and growing on the outside of the palm tree. So you can see the palm is still alive. Now that's called an epiphyte when it doesn't take nutrients. It's only using it for support. That palm tree will eventually die though because the canopy of the strangler fig is going to block out all the sunlight and that tree won't be able to photosynthesize. And once that palm dies, it'll decompose over time and the center of the strangler fig will actually have a hollow spot where that palm tree used to be. The way the strangler fig reproduces in flowers is amazing. The strangler fig will make little figs. These are three little figs on this branch, and this is actually the flowering part of the plant. The flowers of the fig tree are inside of the fig. And you'll notice at the very end of the fig, there's a little hole right here. So each species of fig tree has a fig wasp, a specific type of fig wasp. And when this fig is ripe and ready to get pollinated, it will let off a scent that will attract the type of wasp that this tree needs. That pregnant female wasp will climb in this tiny hole on the end of the fig. And as she's climbing in, it's a tight squeeze. Her wings will fall off, her antenna might even break off, but she doesn't need those anymore because she's gonna climb inside the fig, run around in there and deposit her eggs and the pollen that she's carrying onto the flowers of the fig tree. And then she dies inside of the fig. Well, when those eggs hatch, the, male, the males will hatch first, and uh, that larva will impregnate the female larva before it's even hatched. So when the females hatch, they're already pregnant, and they're climbing around inside the fig, also collecting pollen. And the male larva will drill little holes outside of the fig so that the females can escape. They climb through those little tunnels and they fly off to find another fig and start that cycle all over again. The males die after they've done those, dug those little tunnels. I hope you've enjoyed our segment on the strangler fig. This is Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. I'll see you next time.